What's up internet, Current 1776 here, having a little fun this weekend with Georgia Bushcraft. Um, I'm up here in Watkinsville, Georgia at their awesome property here with a bunch of really cool people in the bushcraft community here. Uh, a lot of people that's been on television, a lot of people that uh, teach survival courses and stuff all over the, all over the world and it's a really cool time, looking forward to it. So y'all come along for a brief overview of what's going on here and be sure, uh, you know, if you notice anybody in the video, call them out in the, in the comment section. Let us know who you may or may not recognize. Yeehaw, so let's go. Question, what, what's, what's the, nice? like, what's two to three things that you're always going to have, no matter whether you're just going out for a lightweight hike and walk around or you're wanting to make stuff, like? I would say a water bottle, something for me to make stuff with, and a light, because um, it gets dark, you know, we can't see, we can't see in dark. Yeah, so you have a way to to stay hydrated, make something, and then get home get when home, you've yeah. been out all day. Yeah, that's, that's huh. basically. Uh, the bushcraft community is really, really well-versed um, group of people. Uh, very friendly, really cool, very excited about um, meeting some of these folks and getting to hang out with them and getting to see some of the skills that they have and learn from that to where I can better myself. And of course, I can better, you know, showcase and show and and help you guys also in, in your journey uh, when it comes to bushcraft or survival or just getting out in the woods and having a fun adventure um, and learning new skills. So, One thing that I did that I haven't seen before is I sharpened my Griffin pocket tool. So oh, it's just sweet. a small, you can take a look at it, and then I just used a rock. I took like two or three minutes, I grounded on a rock and I created a sharp metal edge that you could use for all sorts of things. I spent a month one time in the swamp with nothing. And I tell you what, I'd be so grateful to have a tiny little sharp metal thing. Uh, it's a big deal. You can do a lot with just a tiny sharp metal thing. Um, I used an oyster shell and I was really happy to have that. And it was not very productive. So I, that would have been real, that would have changed my life. If you would have shown that to one of our ancestors a thousand years ago, they would have been like, oh wow, like here's my firstborn, take that. Does anybody recognize this vehicle? So Taylor from Best Damn EDC is here, and uh, he's got a fun story about this vehicle, so y'all be sure to check out his channel. Um, he's gonna have a, if it's not already up by the time this video is up, I'm sure it will be shortly, shortly after, but uh, go check out Best Damn EDC and get the story behind this rig right here. It's uh, pretty comical, but a cool rig nonetheless. And by comical, I don't mean the rig. I mean the story of the rig and some trials and tribulations. <laughs> Y'all be sure to go check that out. So, so I've done this before where I've done pace count uphill, mm -hmm. downhill, yes. uh -huh. lateral yeah. release, yes. flat ground, like <laughs> all the stuff. Remember For me, that? it was like this overwhelming thing to try to keep track of all these numbers. So what I did is I did an experiment and I, I averaged, I counted my pace count. I counted my paces across a long distance on varying terrain and mm -hmm. I took an average. Mm -hmm. um, is we that... do a thousand, we do a thousand meters in okay. our classes. And then you take an average, you mm -hmm. figure out what the average is. is in our typical a, class. Is that like a, is that a, a good oh, yeah. method of doing that? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Okay, if we don't have much breeze, something else I can do is kind of cradle this and then start to wave this back and forth and introduce oxygen that way. The more it smokes, the more oxygen I can give it so I can speed up. Actually, I'm gonna keep this to fit tender. So we got a little parking lot here with some rooftop tents and pop-up tents. We got people out here in the woods, um, hammock camping. And there's a few uh, people in the community that have businesses, small businesses that are kind of showcasing some of their stuff 
while we're here. So I'm gonna meet some of the vendors here so you guys can see their gear. And if something that, that you're interested in checking out, you can go to their websites and check them out. We designed a mushroom foraging pouch after getting feedback from the community. What's really cool about this is it has the mesh bottom. So it's designed for mushrooms, but it's good for collecting all kinds of things, but you can spread the spores. So this chimney design has been really popular and people really like that, but. Uh, it's a burnable card. We call it the fire card, but made of a, a flammable bioplastic. You light it up, it's waterproof, weatherproof. Keep it in your wallet and when you need it, you've got a emergency fire tender with you. What's cool about it is the, the, the flint, the wick and the fuel is all made by Zippo and you can find those parts all over the world. So it doesn't matter if you're traveling in Europe, South America, uh, Africa, you can find the parts you need uh, to replace the, 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 the consumables. Uh, it, it is fairly windproof. As you see, it's pretty windy out here and it still lights and, and keeps the flame. So everybody has seen the, the banana peel friction folder, world's first modular friction folder. You can change out the handles, change out the blades, whatever you want to do. Some of you have seen the Kydex neck sheaths. I'm wearing one somewhere in here. <laughs> well, my background is a carpenter. For a number of years, I uh, worked on houses, building interior trim and, and a little bit of framing. So my hammer handle was my friend because that's carpenters are, are making their living with the hammer handle. So what we did is we designed our camp knife around my old hammer handle. I loved the way it felt, and it was a fatigue-free working environment. So that's what we did. It's a great time. We're doing a little bit of camp. We're camping at night. We'll be here for three nights. I'm just gonna bring you guys along um, with, with some of what I've experienced this week, um, making some some uh, new friends and and doing some some cool some cool stuff and learning some cool skills so and the winner is ticket number one four nine three six three one Well, folks, that's the uh, campfire co-op all over there by the campfire. So we've had a fun time here, saw some really cool stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you're going to enjoy some of the products that I'm going to be just showing in some videos here in the near future. A lot of fun, met a lot of really cool people here, learned a lot of really cool stuff and uh, looking forward to the next one. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to Comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, hit the bell icon. We'll see you next time. I'm going to go do a little co oping over here by the campfire and call it a night. Yeehaw. Appreciate y'all. Love you, man. Bye. Mm -hmm.